Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Now this video is, well, it's a little bit sad. I am feeling a little bit sad, but hopefully it's all gonna be fine, isn't it Zeb? So I'm just here with Zebedee now. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have known Zeb unfortunately got kicked when he was out hacking back end of November, not by one of my horses, which was really, really, annoying wasn't it buddy it kind of didn't seem a massive massive deal straight away he did cut skin and it was bleeding but he sort of limped a couple strides and then he seemed sound so i actually managed to walk him home seemed fine i cleaned all the cut up uh and then put him out for the day and he seemed absolutely happy didn't he zebby and then came down the next morning and he did not want to walk out of his stable so at this point i was absolutely panicking um the leg had then swollen up quite a lot so we called the vet out straight away didn't we they came out he gets cellulitis so he is prone to that so it was just really bad cellulitis so we had to give him um penicillin injections and just put him on pain relief so he was in the stable for like a week and so he got over that and the cut at this point like stuff was coming out of it but it wasn't it wasn't too bad we were just keeping on top of that um he then started going back out um he was sound in walk and he's been out then in the field since um but the wound just wasn't healing up it was just still discharging good boy and then but it was getting better just slowly and then i tried riding him a couple times because he seemed sound and he was he wasn't lame but he just wasn't quite right were you buddy um and you know i've had him 10 years so i do i know him inside out i thought it's just not quite right this wound still hasn't healed this this was just before christmas so by this point it was like four or five weeks so i called the vet back out because i was just like this just isn't right and she agreed with me so we tried him on some more antibiotics just to, in case the infection hadn't quite all cleared he was getting better um just slowly and he was still sound but i wasn't riding him i was just turning him out in the field and then it was we did five days and then it still hadn't fully healed so the vet suggested let's just do another five days and then i think when you're on antibiotics for a long time they can affect the gut um which i didn't really realize um and then i came down i think it was between christmas and new year and he had really really swollen legs and his temperature was up slightly so we had to get the vet back out we took some bloods didn't we and he had a couple of steroid injections just to get the legs back down they went back down and then we kind of got over that didn't we zeb and then just last week the wound just still wasn't healing and i just i'd kind of been keeping in contact with my vet sending her pictures and i just thought it's just not healing so we thought well we're just going to give it an x-ray now because the wound's not healing so if the wound's not healing something else may be going on so we had you x-rayed last week didn't we buddy and unfortunately where he was kicked the bone was chipped so there's a bit of ch bit chip bone and basically the body's trying to get rid of the chip bone out of the body hence why the wound's not healing up uh but obviously it's not managing to get the chipped bone out but that's why the wound isn't healing so um we are zeb is having to have surgery aren't you buddy now it does sound a lot worse than it is we are actually going to be able to do the surgery at the yard because he's so good and it's not a very big and busy yard so basically he's having surgery to remove those bits of chip bone and then they're going to stitch him back up and then it should just be a couple weeks in the box and within two to three weeks he should actually I should be able to get back on him if it's as straightforward as we think it is and if he all heals so that is happening today so he's just in he's so good he's like anything medical he is just the best one so they were happy to do it here and it's standing surgery you know they're just going in they're taking it out and stitching it back up so yeah so a bit sad i've been crying this morning and then i've just been panicking just in case fingers crossed it all goes okay and i can get back on my main man so hopefully i'm going to be able to film it Crumbly there? Yep. Separating yourself. It. It's coming out the track. Okay. It's yeah. trying to, yeah, push it out. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it, really, the body? Yeah. Like, 
And that's why the wound wasn't healed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's trying to kick out that bit of bone. Yeah. <laughs> so hard to get any parts of the mouth. So that's just numbing the yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. That's just gone off the track. Tell you what, if this was on a human, I would not be able to watch. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Oh, keep him steady. Keep him wait, Barry. Back around to load yeah. that more yeah, it's I not think actually it might be in the right plane yeah, anyway, yeah. so I've not quite it's found the parent bone yet, so I haven't quite got onto the spot. Yeah. I might have to get the ultrasound, even though there's air, but I might just... Yeah. Yeah, so with that, are you just trying to find it sort of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. trying to go up the track, but if yeah. the track isn't it's going quite itself, to like it. Yeah, it's on the outside. Oh, so okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, get the ultrasound. Yeah, yeah. ultrasound, yeah. your bit. Yeah. So we made the right decision. Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? Yes, yeah. You don't want to be walking somebody into more trouble. No. But you can see how that, yeah. that's fairly dead bone. No, yeah. Anyway, so I think that's it. Yeah. We'll just take yeah. a little bit of a... So you basically, from where the one cut was, you just couldn't quite get to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite in the right plane. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas it just, it's just often like you'll have a fragment, and the discharging tract will be just straight on top of it, but whatever way it had gone like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just gone around the corner. Yeah. I would imagine when he was kicked, his leg was in some sort of flex position yeah. or something. Or do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, the skin has moved from where exactly. Yeah. And so when he's standing there, it's not anywhere near it. Yeah. Or not anywhere near because obviously it's beside it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so now what I'm doing, I'm just working around the edges. Yeah. Yeah, so now you're getting quiet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. drama by the way. Um, what is the, that? The bleeding. Just yeah. stop the bleeding, I'll put a suture in it and then you can take it out in two days time or something. Because I think it's going to need to discharge, yeah, three or four days, something like that. What's the su suture? Just oh, stitch just it. We'll a put bit of... Stitch oh, right, okay, yep, yeah. sorry, yeah. But I'll take it out toward the end of the week then. Okay. I think that's fine. You can almost hear the difference, can't you? Yeah. So, in, around, it's fine. Job done. Good boy. I said, I don't think I should do it in order. That was the one. Culprit. Yeah, that was the big one. Okay. Good boy, Zeb. Hey? Good boy. But that's obviously the concern with these, you know? Yeah. So if it's. Um,
before because it's all on the same series. Yeah. Come on, let's better picture here. Is this here before? Yeah. Better do it and get the cursor and put it on. So there's here before. Yeah. There's your sequestrum. And there and is then, after being uh, scraped out. It, brilliant, yeah. You can see the gas or from the tract. See yeah. The shadows there. Yeah. Different shades of grey, that's just gas under the skin. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm just here with Zeb. You're just waking up, aren't you, buddy? You're just waking up. So we finished the surgery. Zeb's just waking up um, from his sedation. So it all went well. Uh, we managed to get the little fragments of bone out, which you will have seen a before and after x-ray. Uh, we did have to make another little incision to get to the fragments. We did try and go in the original wound, but basically, I don't think I got this on camera because I was trying to concentrate, but it basically, the fragments had kind of done that. So the wound was here and we were just struggling to get them. So we decided to make another incision there and then we got them out straight away. So that was a su success. And then, like I say, we re-x-rayed and you could see all the fragments were then gone. So that was really, really good. So yeah, overall, really good. It basically now, let me just pan you round. Looks like this. So we have, this was the extra incision we've made and we've um, stitched that up. We've left this one open because there probably is going to be some discharge coming out. This one's still slightly infected, uh, so he's also on antibiotics. Um, so we need the discharge to come out somewhere. He's going to stay in the box today and for a couple of days. And then hopefully he's going to be able to go back out during the day, come in at night, his normal routine. We're quite lucky because the cut's quite far up. Um, so it's not like lower down on his legs, so he's always going to be stood in mud with it. He's on antibiotics, and then we're going to put flamazine uh, on both of those each day at the minute. Uh, and then basically it's just a case of letting that all heal up and then we can crack back on. So I think probably two to three weeks we've kind of said, but we'll just have to take it by um, each day. That's where we're at. Zeb is still feeling a little bit sleepy, aren't you, buddy? Let's go around this way. But you were such a good boy, weren't you? Were you a good boy? Yeah. So I'm just going to let him wake up a little bit more before he can go back in his stable and have some food, hey? Yeah, you were a very good boy, though, weren't you? Good boy. Zeb is woken up now. He's back in his stable. He's having some nice haylage, aren't you, baby? And I've just brought the other two in to keep Zeb company because he doesn't like being in on his own, do you? We're going to be back to check on Zeb again and then they're going to have their dinner a little bit later on. So I don't want to give it to him just yet, but he's looking all right, quite happy. So yeah, it went really, really well. I think as well as it could have done, I will try and vlog just another couple of little bits just to keep you up to date with his recovery. I went as well as it could and we will be nursing you back to full health, won't we Zebedee, hey? Okay Zeb, antibiotic time, I know you don't like it do you? Hey, he doesn't like it. Hey? No, we do not like it. I've not got my hat on for that reason, I'm just about to get on Max. But you're not a massive fan of the antibiotic, are we, Zebedee? Good lad. But <laughs> you really don't like it, do you, hey? Right, you are actually going to get to go out in a minute. So he's almost finished the antibiotics. It's actually looking really, really good. But that is the wound, so there's not really a huge amount of swelling. Just putting Flamazine cream on it every day. Stitches are looking good, they'll come out in another week or so. And that is healing up quite well. Zebedee so is out now, so we're on it's Wednesday. He had the surgery done on Monday. So he stayed in Monday and Tuesday, and then the vets are actually really happy with the wound. 
so he's actually allowed out now. Okay guys, so we are two weeks post Zeb's surgery and today is the day he gets the stitches out, but it's definitely is looking really, really good. I've been away for a week skiing, so I had a couple of people coming in every day, checking it, sending me pictures, and it's definitely really going in the right direction. Where the stitches are look perfectly, they look great, and then the original wound still there but it is it's getting smaller every single day so here we are here's zeb we waiting for the vet zebby it's so cold here so he's a little bit moody we are hopefully getting you out in a bit though hey because we've got a field that's nice and soft we're just waiting for the vet so the vet has been the stitches are out let me show you so this that's where the stitches were so that is looking great and then this is the original wound so it's definitely getting smaller need just put some flammers in on that it is unfortunately taking a while to heal but we are getting there the vet is going to talk to the surgeon and see if we can start walk work or whether he wants that completely healed. I'm hoping he has been being turned out and it is healing, it's just slow. So hopefully we can, because we'll do at least two weeks walking because he's been out of work for ages. But fingers crossed that we might be able to uh, start walk work. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay guys, so it's now a couple of weeks, oh god. Okay guys, so we are now a couple of weeks after surgery. You saw I've managed to get back on Zeb after the stitches. This is going well, I just wanted to film an outro in the field with Zebedee and I brought a carrot out and now they're all just going. I mean Max is literally... Oh. That didn't look great, did it? But I mean, he's holding on to his rug, so what do you expect? It's honestly absolute carnage here now. Let's go and see if we can find Zebedee. Kato just wants to join. Maybe we'll have to just do it with you, Kato. So I've managed to get back on Zeb for a couple of weeks now after our surgery, haven't we, buddy? We're just doing walk work with a little bit of trotting. You can see I've now managed to clip him because he was getting quite sweaty. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Let's not say that. So I hope you guys... Um So a little bit of a different vlog this one, um, but I really wanted to share with you all Zeb's journey, his surgery and show you, you know, that is life. Unfortunately, there are lots of ups and downs and lots of things that go wrong. Kato is really causing... Kato, leave him alone then! Right, this has been an absolute carnage of an outro, but I hope you have not enjoyed seeing but you know i wanted to share with you his journey his surgery what happened the rehab because you know that is life unfortunately it is part of owning horses things do go wrong um but fortunately we've been really really lucky you know we have lost some weeks he's had to have surgery but he has come back you know better than ever we've managed to get the fragments of bone out the surgery all went really well um i'm just gonna have to do it with kato now surgery went really well and he's now being back ridden so you know we've been i've been so so lucky with him i really was worried that it was going to be 
a lot worse um, than it was and it was going to take ages to recover you know surgery wasn't going to go well but it went as well as it possibly could have done so yeah I'm really pleased with that really fortunate that I've been able to get back on him you know he is 20 now so but he is still absolutely loving life will still hopefully be back out of venting this year once I've got him fit I've obviously just got to get him fit um, but yeah I hope you liked seeing his surgery video and um yeah let's just all fingers crossed Thank you very much guys for watching really really appreciate it and we will see you for another video that's hopefully a little bit more upbeat although i think this has ended upbeat because i'm back riding him so you know couldn't have wished for a better finish to this video from when i started it you know i was really worried didn't know if i was going to be able to get back on him you know it's, it's definitely not that quickly um so yeah i feel like i've just literally rambled for ages but thank you very much for watching guys really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one